the Quest for the Perfect Engine workshop is one of our gateway events to introduce senior executives to Lean, to Sigma, and the marriage of the Lean Sigma concepts. This workshop is primarily designed for the senior management, the leaders at the CEO level, at the operating level, or at plant manager level, so that they can develop their own vision of how their transformation should take place. The key thought is that Lean Sigma is not just a tool for cost reduction, it's a tool for growth. Clearly there's some discussion of some of the technical terms and tools, but it's really about the culture change and the opportunities to drive the business for financial growth and, of course, bottom line results. In India, people are very creative. So if you can somehow capture the creativity and then try to focus it, in certain directions, we can make tremendous improvements. We've been undergoing a lot of expansion in our organization, and we need to have an, uh, the correct kind of intellectual attitude to go into our plants and our people and transform them from literally a mid-sized organization to a global organization. And one of our partners recommended that, well, this is going to be happening in Mumbai soon, and that's how we came to know of it immediately. And you come here feeling that, you know, this may be good, but my industry is different. I think one of the biggest things which this, which this seminar has done for me and perhaps for a lot of other people here too who come from different industries is that our problems are largely the same and I guess the solutions could also largely be similar. By changing the methodologies, by changing the attitude, we would be able to compete with any other company in the world. The perfect engine is that, a company that's growing, flexible, meeting customer demand with a top line growing and a bottom line growing along with it. I can't say I had anything more than a, perhaps an intellectual understanding of lean manufacturing, and that is really not enough. But a seminar like this has really cleared some of the doubts I had, and particularly the simulation game was very interesting, and it really brought through what lean manufacturing can do. We actually show the principles and how to implement them using a widget factory, and we run the factory three times. The first time we run it, it's a typical push type system with an MRP or ERP computer system, lots of paperwork, and very similar usually to the way the clients run their companies today. You begin with the traditional factory structure, with all the chaos which goes with the traditional factory structure. We have a lot of inventory, we have work orders, we have transportation and material handling. There's a lot of motion and activity, but very little actual production takes place. And we're kind of stuck in the first, you know, the, the before stage of the simulation game. That's the way we manufacture apparel in our factories. And this whole concept of moving to a flow and then to a pool system is very, very exciting. It's very much similar to what uh, we do in our business. Uh, but I was a supplier today for a change. So I got to know about his problems. I think universally everyone that we speak to says, yes, that is my organization. There's some things that absolutely do. A little bit too close to the truth, perhaps. On a simple game like this, we fumbled, we were laughing, we were uh, smiling, but I think yeah, we know where we, we were making the mistakes, but I think yeah, next time around we would be better. The widget is what? It's just a, a base, and it's like a Montessori little school thing, you know, that's what it is pretty much. But such a simple concept can go ahead and illustrate the whole process is what was unique and what was, what was completely creative. People are amazed how realistic it becomes when they're into it because they see all the behaviors that they see in their own plan. People taking shortcuts, people trying to circumvent the system, and the chaos that results from it are very realistic. So it does reinforce the concepts and really set the stage for the next levels of transformation. The second time we run it, we establish flow, and we use the tools of lean production to show the difference between a push and a flow and it's really a hands-on experience that they see firsthand and can apply to their own businesses. And there were significant improvements in productivity and uh, we reduced the wastages, we reduced the space required, we reduced the lead times and those were uh, substantial. The area gets reduced to one-third, you see productivity goes up by three, four hundred percent, you also see quality improves and see how tying to the customer actual requirements, you can do more with less and you can do it much more reliably. You finally graduate to a pool system where you only have, you have a single piece flow and uh, I always thought a single piece flow would, you know, would be impossible to, to work at. 
I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting back to my factory and seeing how I could simulate it in actual working conditions. Since you're able to go at a management level to really become a worker, you're able to really understand the processes that go into it from a hands-on experience. And, um, and then you relook at your own processes or your own layouts, whatever you know of your plant functioning, and can literally sort of re redesign things in your own mind. The simulation helps us to understand exactly what happens on a shop floor in a factory situation. And you can easily replicate it to what happens to your own process in your own office or your own company. That really brought home to us how a production system could be changed to move from the traditional structure we have today to the single piece uh, flow. So I think that we do answer that very specific question of, of the game plan. How does everything fit and how do I bring all of this together within my organization? So it's really been able to balance both sides of it. The actual practical shop floor experience with really the mindset change and I think that's exactly what we've been looking for, the way our, our growth pattern is. We, we really need to adopt both of those very quickly. The biggest thing they get out of it is a conviction that is based on their hands-on involvement. The, the presentation of the top class and I think the wealth of experience that people like Gary and Anand bring to the table is really amazing because they can, they can answer your questions using the experience from a variety of different industries. If they've not started the journey yet, our hope is that they will leave and start the journey and implement the tools and techniques of Lean to help their company grow and grow profitably. We've got good work practices by Indian standards. I don't think we can call ourselves anything like world class. And I do believe that following Lean Manufacturing enables me to tread that path and hopefully get to being a world class factory really compete in the world. If you just compete on availability of labor and the cost of labor, you're running only on two cylinders of eight cylinder car. If you add to that Lean Sigma, if you add to that innovation, if you add to that employee empathy where they love to work, and if you add to that a vision, then you're running on all eight cylinder. And that's what we want to bring to these companies so they can make continuous progress in the long term.